Welcome, and uh, this is the shop.com digital marketing expansion. Actually, it's more of a digital marketing explosion. I am Michael Brady, your Chief Information Officer, and I'm going to talk to you today about how you can use some of the technology we've built, the web services, APIs, to create apps, widgets, to help you grow your digital marketing footprint. You can think of these um, APIs and web services as building blocks to build your business. We're talking adding new customers, more orders, more business partners, to build your shopping annuity. Now, it's a little ahead of the slide, but uh, that's all right. First, I wanted you to understand that you have over 250 technology professionals to support you. Okay, I'm gonna, some of the faces are here. And you'll notice there's a Hulk statue, actually. It's an action figure. Uh, we actually took an action figure. It was Eugene Wallace's, uh, who's our chief technology officer. And we put it on a, a plaque. And we actually hand that out to individuals uh, who really knock down barriers, you know, very hulkish, get things done, who's a team player. And also, they don't mind having an ugly green statue sitting on their desk. So here's the, uh, some of the people that we have. Uh, we've got teams in Greensboro and North Carol and right here in North Carolina and Monterey. There is uh, Mark Ashley, who's playing a little cornhole with uh, uh, our team here. We've got Eugene Wallace, who's uh, playing a little ping pong, showing people there. So this is the teams. All right, we've got a Monterey team, Shop.com. And our Greensboro team, we're very proud of them. Very proud. And we work hard, and we play hard, and we build a lot of software. And some of the logos you see are just some of the sites we build and some of the apps we build. We do a lot. And we want to make you successful. I mean, that is really our goal, right? And we ask ourselves all the time, how can we extend the reach of our unfranchised owners? How can we enable them to have more orders, more business partners? And, well, you saw it, 250 plus people, right? <laughs> we uh, realize we need help, we need more developers. So we asked ourselves the good question of, how do you get a community of top developers? Developers who don't really need to know us, and we really don't need to know them. Well, we have the answer, and that is the shop.com developer portal. It is a hub to connect independent developers with our web services, with our systems, our business processes. Think of it this way. You got an iceberg. That represents your Market America shop.com development team. Pretty big, 250 plus people. But you add in the de independent developers, and we get a whole lot bigger, all right? That really extends our reach. You can sign up today, developers.shop.com, right now, and have access to our web services and APIs. Now, you may say, well, I'm not a developer. Okay, that's all right. You don't even need to know a developer. This is important for you to understand because developers will be building on this portal. They can learn about our APIs. They can explore our APIs. I love that. Get excited, explore. Get chatty. If you have a question, you can ask the question in our forums and we'll answer it. The great thing is you can sign up today. That's live right now, developer.shop.com. All right. Where, do you, where are we going to put all these apps, all these wonderful things that people build? In an app store. They'll be available for your sites, for your blogs. It's a place that we're going to have all the apps that are developed available for you and your customers. Now, web services that we have at shop.com developer portal, we've built internally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of APIs, and we're exposing these through the developer portal every week, every month, all the time. But you may say, well, 
okay, Michael, I'm, <laughs> I'm not that technical. Uh, you, you know, how, how is this going to help me as an enfranchise owner? Two ways. One, the app store I was talking about. It'll help you grow your business. You'll be able to add them to your blog. You'll be able to add them to Facebook. You'll grow your digital footprint to help build that shopping annuity. Secondly, if you have an idea that I haven't thought of, that the management team hasn't thought of, that JR hasn't thought of yet, you can build it. But wait, I'm not a developer. Well, you know what? You're an entrepreneur. We'll have a list of certified developers that you can choose from. You don't need to be a developer. You do need to be an entrepreneur. So I'm going to take a minute and talk about application programming interfaces and web services. Oh, scary. No, it's actually very simple. The concept is very, very simple. All it is is connecting together dissimilar systems over the internet, meaning two systems that don't know anything about each other can now talk. That's it. And the exciting thing about this is it's our systems, our sites, our business rules. You see, a developer only needs to use simple standard web service protocols. The internet's full of it. They know exactly how that works. They don't need to know BV. They don't need to know retail profit. What they do need to know is simple web services. We take care of the hard work, making sure that the retail profit goes to you, the BV is accredited to you, your customers go to you. All right. Connecting information. That's what web services and APIs really do. If you used any of these sites, you used web services and APIs, and you didn't know it. Because the bottom line is it's not something you can see, it's how things communicate. Here's a great example. I love this one. OK, on Motives Cosmetics, scroll down, you'll see hashtag Motives Cosmetics. And you'll notice that the Motives Mavens, which you saw earlier, and many others have, have put out in Instagram photos of, of looks. And they've put in products on there. Well, through APIs, web services, and a company called Olapic, what we do is we can house shop that look. We do a mashup of that Instagram photo and the products associated with that. In this case, Motives Mineral Gel L Eyeliner, little black dress, and three Motives Pressed Eyeshadows, Dazed Caramel and Illusion. Make up that look. That's a mashup between Instagram and Motives Cosmetics. All right. Built on web services. Well, everything we do now, we've done amazing transformation in the last couple of years. Everything we build is based on web services and APIs. Because this is how we're going to extend Market America's reach, how we're going to get our business rules out there, get more developers. We do this with everything, every project that we do now. Now, I'm going to get the team here. I have a team of people who are coming out right now. Katie Morgan is a project manager. I took some of the staff that, you know, we got a lot of big brains out here. One of our project managers. Um, Ken Wong is also one of our project managers. He's going to play shop.com. All right. Jason Davidport manages our software quality assurance group. He is going to be playing the entire UPS company. My blog over here, which is Brian Sape, who is one of our software architects, he's going to play my blog. OK. We're going to get to that later. And then John Petrie, another software architect, is going to play Facebook. All right. Now. How it works today, I'm going to be an unfranchise owner. Katie is my customer. Hey, Katie, how are you doing? Good, Michael. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. Now, Katie today shops at shop.com because that's how it works, right? Right, and you're running out of OPC3, right? I am. I need that to keep up my triathlon training. She's training for a triathlon. It's funny. I'm also training for a triathlon. I blog about it. I've read your blog posts recently. They're fascinating. Yes. So. Go ahead and shop on shop.com, Katie. So this is how it works today, right? I send my customer to shop.com to make sure I get the order and I get the BV and the retail profit. Thank you very much, yeah. 
And oh, here comes UPS. Uh, UPS drops it off to Katie, right? That's On how it works. On time delivery. Very fast. All right. However, wouldn't it be great, since Katie and I already know each other, we're friends, she follows me on Facebook, everybody's on Facebook, she watches my blog, she likes to find out how I'm doing on my training for a triathlon. All right, so Katie, uh, what I'm gonna show you is using on my blog the checkout APIs at shop.com. And on Facebook, I'm gonna show you how Shopbox can work. All right, and this is going to be using web services. Oh. So Katie's, you know, checking out my blog. She's reading about my training. Wow, that's fascinating. And I've posted some choice bars and some aloe on my blog because, you know, choice bars, great protein, right? Low sugar. And, and not aloe because it's good for you. Hydration is part of my training regimen. But wait, she's just ordering. You notice this is web services right there. She's never leaving my blog. She's staying on my blog and she's ordering right there. It's going to shop.com. I get the retail profit. I get the BV. It's my customer. It never gets lost. Now, Katie's also going over to Facebook, right? Because, you know, we're chatting. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, yeah. good. good. Yeah. She, you know, I posted something on my, uh, you know, on my post to, uh, I put a shop box. And that shop box has Snap. Why Snap? Well, it's wonderful, but also it's because, you know, when you're training, your clothes smell. It's something to keep them clean. <laughs> All right. She doesn't leave Facebook. She never leaves Facebook. Web services, APIs, talk back to shop.com. BV, retail profit, my customer, my order. That was so easy. So easy. All right. And then here comes UPS dropping it off. So that's the great thing. You, this is a new way of extending our reach, our digital marketing footprint, building that shopping annuity. Thank you very much, team. I really appreciate it. With web services, APIs, and our developer.shop.com portal, the possibilities are endless. I want to give a quick call out to the breakout tonight. Um, IT digital marketing update tonight at Victoria Ballroom at 7.30. I'll be there. Eugene Wallace, our CTO, will be there. Vince Hunt, shop.com will be there. Peter Gold, the chief digital marketing officer, and Mike Reichman will all be there. You can ask questions. Thank you very much.